Hello everyone, Sunley here and welcome back to another episode of Bug Rock of the Week. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of these small bugs in the 1.16 and nether update for the Bedrock edition of Minecraft. Of course there are a ton of small bugs to look at, so I've highlighted a bunch for today's episode. Several of these you might not have realized are actually bugs, some of these you might not have noticed at all to begin with, and a few of these actually do have some big impacts for very specific areas of the game regardless of being a small bug. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's episode and let's hop into it. So as always, there are bug report links for everything that we talk about in today's video down in the description. If you have experienced any or all these bugs, then make sure to upvote those bug reports and provide any additional information to the report that you may have. The more information and the more support that we show for these reports, the easier it is for the developers to fix these bugs in future updates. Also, one tiny thing I want to mention before I get flooded with even more comments is a ton of people have asked why the fish and squid farms that use mamma blocks no longer work. That is because of a bug where no aquatic animals will spawn in bubble columns. This has actually already been fixed in the next beta, so whenever 1.16.2 releases, all of your fish and squid farms will start working again. So you don't need to worry, you don't need to tear anything down or change anything. You just need to wait a little while for the next update. Our first couple bugs have to do with the nether terrain generation and first up is the basalt deltas. So you might not notice this, it's kind of a small detail that I didn't notice even, and that is that the ceilings of the basalt deltas are actually made out of netherrack. All of that should be made out of the different kinds of basalts and that would make the biomes a lot more interesting and you know, just cool looking. So here it is on a Bedrock Edition, and if we switch over to Java Edition for just a moment, you can see that here is a Basalt Delta, and these ceilings look way better. Not to mention that is a lot more Basalt for you to potentially mine. So this bug was actually introduced in the betas for 1.16. It was working properly at one point. So this bug also applies to the Soul Sand Valley biome. So here we are in a Soul Sand Valley. As you can see, plenty of Soul Sand and Soul Soil, naturally generated phase logo. And then we have the ceilings, which are completely made of netherrack, even when you go all the way up to the upper reaches. Now, this does make it slightly easier to get some ores, of course. However, it's not nearly as immersive and doesn't make the biomes feel, feel nearly as complete as they should be. So let's head over to Java Edition real quick and you'll see what I mean by that. Here we are in a Soul Sand Valley. It just looks amazing. And as you can see, all the ceilings are made out of Soul Sand and Soul Soil. Really completes the biome, adds to the feel of it, makes it way more immersive and way more interesting. Our final nether terrain generation issue has to do with the nether fog and the nether wastes and crimson forest biomes. The nether wastes is just like the old nether that they kept around for some reason. And of course the crimson forest has these nice red trees. So the nether fog should change ever so slightly when transitioning from one of these biomes to another. However, on a bedrock edition, it is the exact same for both biomes. The crimson forest does not appear to have the correct fog applied to it. So if we go from one biome to another, you'll see that there is no real difference in that fog color. I do have night vision on right now, and that's about the only real way to see this change in general from what I have tested on Java Edition. So yeah, as you can see, literally exactly the same. But if we go over to Java for a moment, you can see that there is ever so slightly a difference. This is another waste biome over here, and that is a crimson forest. And over here, the fog is a little bit whiter, a little bit brighter. And then if we go to the crimson forest, it's a lot more red. Of course, we also have the particles, but that's not really the point. The point is, there's like a five shade difference between the fog colors, and that is a very small bug for you. <laughs> One of the more important bugs in today's video is not nether update specific, this has been around for a little while, however it's a lot more important now that the nether update is here, because nowadays mobs can randomly pick up items including your armor and weapons. So for example, if you die to a zombie it has a chance of picking up your armor, your tools, your weapons and actually equipping that, which is really really awesome. However, the problem arises when you actually go to kill these mobs. They have a chance of dropping it, like basically not at all. As you can see, he didn't drop the pants, the chest plate, or the helmet, and what it did drop was the boots. Now, the problem with that is that the boots 
have like next to no durability. Basically, they're dropping all of the equipment as if they spawned with it. So it's going to have like next to no durability. It's mostly going to be broken and you have a chance of not getting it back, which is pretty terrible. So make sure you don't give your stuff to a zombie by accident. We can kill this guy over here just to confirm the test as well. As you can see, he actually dropped a fair bit of our netherite armor. However, as you can see, it is very, very damaged and far worse for wear. The next small bug for you is that sometimes when you're shift clicking items from one inventory to another They'll be kind of gray or a lightish gray for a moment This is a very small bug, but it has been noticed by basically everyone that plays the game I'll try and slow down the footage for you a little bit so you can kind of see this in action And this is one of those like occasional bugs. It doesn't happen every single time It doesn't appear to happen in every world and it doesn't appear to be that reliable to reproduce But it does happen and this has been around on bedrock edition before so it's not really a new bug it's more of a recurring bug that is now seeing a resurgence i was about to show you a bug with a zoglin but then like this guy just decided to show off and break dance in the middle of my setup jeez man what you doing <laughs> So the basic problem with Zoglins is that their collision box is actually too small and we can demonstrate this pretty easily just by trying to fill in blocks around the sky. As you can see, we can actually place blocks in like most of the places. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you could pretty much completely encase a Zoglin in glass blocks as you can see here. Hey, you're supposed to be looking at the armor stand, dude. That's what the command is supposed to be doing. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we can't place a block right there ever, and that is kind of how it should be. Also, as an EBZ demonstration, you can also just like put these guys in a one by one hole, and that seems to work perfectly fine because their collision box is all kinds of messed up. And genuinely, I am not too surprised because Ravengers also had this same issue when they were first introduced as well. And next up, we have some bugs with Iron Golems. These guys do not attack Hoglins or Zoglins on sight like they should. So if we spawn in some Hoglins, you'll see that these guys basically live in peace together. They don't care about one another at all. And if we spawn in a Zoglin, you'll see that the Iron Golem doesn't care about them at all until they get attacked by the Zoglin and then they basically just completely wreck the guys it is honestly quite beautiful <laughs> so a few a couple small bugs there with the aggression of the iron golem and one more bug with iron golems this time having to do with magma cubes and magma cubes don't attack iron golems basically at all which actually does have a pretty big impact on a lot of different farms, specifically Magma Cube spawner farms and Magma Cube farms in the Basalt Deltas. So as you can see, we got a bajillion of these guys bouncing around and none of them care at all about this Iron Golem. However, if we spawn in some slimes, you'll see that they all go for the Iron Golem immediately. This is the behavior that we should be seeing with the Magma Cubes here, but it's just not happening at all and honestly it's quite sad because it does break a lot of different farm designs taking a break from the nether for a moment the elytra texture is actually invisible whenever you are wearing the pan cape cape basically so right now we're actually wearing a cape as you can see from the menu we're wearing the pan cape which you get from the beta versions of bedrock edition whenever you equip an elytra with that cape enabled then you will not have a visible elytra. This is actually rather cheaty and kind of fun at the same time. You can basically be like Superman flying around your world. And yeah, it's kind of just a weird one. I personally would like to wear this cape and it would be very nice to have a pancake elytra. Just saying, I want to see what it looks like. Now, I'm guessing that they just didn't add the texture for this because you have to specifically make like a texture for the elytra, I'm guessing. So that's why it's invisible. I don't know, but I want to see this happen. Also, I think the very fact that I have this in a non-beta version is a bug in itself, but I'm not going to mention that. Our next bug has to do with the target block as it does not conduct any amount of redstone power. As you can see, we're powering it directly with a repeater, and that's not unpowering the redstone torch or powering this redstone dust out the side, which is completely not how it should be. If we go over to Java Edition, you can see that, uh, yeah, the torch gets unpowered, the redstone dust out the side gets powered as well. So this is a pretty significant bug when it comes to the usage of the target block 
on Bedrock Edition. Before we end off today's episode, I want to say a massive thank you for a quarter of a million subscribers. 250,000. That is an absolute load. Way too many. But thank you all so very much. It's been such a journey here on YouTube the last couple of years, and you guys have changed my life for the absolute better. I would not take back a second of any of this, and I hope that you guys enjoy all of the future stuff on the channel, all the future projects and builds and videos as well well i got some fun stuff in store and i hope that you're looking forward to it anyway that's gonna do it for today's episode i hope that you learned something useful there's some pretty important bugs in here to be on the lookout for you don't want to get hurt by one of these and not see it coming so if you did enjoy today's episode then of course be sure to leave a like as it significantly helps out the video and the channel a ton if you're new here then consider subscribing we're over a quarter of a million strong now which is really insane to say and I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And then there was silence.